Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be talking about aspect ratio in Tailwind CSS or how we can make an image or video keep the same proportions at different screen sizes. So we have a fairly simple team section here with just two team members. And as I resize the viewport, I want you to pay attention to the images or more specifically their aspect ratio. So on mobile, they have this landscape three by two aspect ratio. And as the screen gets bigger, we'll eventually go to a square format or one by one here. And then at the large breakpoints, the image is changed to a vertical portrait ratio, which is four by three. So it's always the same images that are being used for all the screen sizes, but they're being cropped differently. And let's see how it's implemented. So here's the HTML for the first image. So you can see that the image is absolutely positioned and using the entire space of its relative parent. The parent here, you can see the class relative, has a height of zero. And this is where a little bit of trickery happens. So we have a padding bottom of two thirds, and this is essentially how we achieve this two by three ratio. And then on the small breakpoint, we have a padding top of one third, and finally on large padding top of two thirds. First thing to note is padding two third and padding one third are not default values in Tailwind. So in our Tailwind config file, we're extending the padding object and added these two values right here. Now let's jump in the DevTools to try to understand how it works. So if I zoom in this image here and we inspect it, and I'll go select the parent here. So that's where we're applying the H0, padding bottom two thirds, etc. So let me turn off the large and small breakpoints uh, classes. And so right now we just have PB two thirds, which is the proportions we use for the mobile image. So we have a height of zero and then padding bottom of two thirds, which is 66.6%. And this is percentage of the width of the image. So you can think of it of if the image width was three thirds, one, two, three, then we have two thirds in height made by the padding bottom, one, two. If I remove that padding class, there'll be no padding, so the image will have a height of zero. So let's bring it back. So then on the small breakpoint, we add a small padding top one third, and let me add it here. And essentially, we still have our bottom two thirds, one, two. And then we've added one third on the top to effectively combine together three thirds. So now we have three thirds here and three thirds or one by one and we have a perfect square. And finally, on the large breakpoint, we have this two thirds that replaces one third. So now we effectively have two thirds at the bottom and two thirds at the top. And that's how we end up with a three by four aspect ratio. So that does feel like a hack. And the good news is there's a better way to implement aspect ratio coming to browsers near you in the future. An aspect ratio CSS property is making its way in, and what it allows you to do is define aspect ratio really nicely, like aspect ratio one by one, or aspect ratio 16 by nine. And while we're waiting for this to land in more browsers, we have packaged this aspect ratio trickery that we've just looked at into an official Tailwind CSS aspect ratio plugin. Behind the scene, this plugin is going to use this padding bottom trick, but it's going to hide away the implementation of it for us so we have nicer ergonomics when applying aspect ratios. So let's go install this plugin and check it out. npm install at tailwind css slash aspect ratio. Cool. So now we're gonna jump in our tailwind config file and in our plugins array, we're going to require at tailwind css slash aspect ratio. Okay, so now we can go in our image and I'm going to remove absolute, inset zero, width full and height full. And on the parent, I'll remove the relative H0 and the padding bottom and top classes here. So now still on the parent, I'm going to be using new classes provided by the aspect ratio plugin. And I'm going to be able to define the ratio for the width and the height that I want. So if I go aspect W for the width, you can see that I have new utilities for aspect width from one to 16. In our case, we want to achieve a three by two ratio. So aspect width three and aspect height two. And the image still looks exactly the same, but now if I change the aspect H to one, you will see that we now have a three to one ratio. Now I have a lot of flexibility to compose different aspect ratios. So four by one is going to be really thin. Four by four is going to be a square, etc. Okay, so now let's implement these with responsive variants so we can recreate the different aspect ratios at different breakpoints. So for the mobile image, we would have a three by two ratio. Then on the small breakpoint, aspect width would be three 
by three. And technically we could have used one by one, which is essentially the same. It's a ratio after all. And finally, for the large breakpoint, we're going to have a width of three and a height of four. So we get this three by four ratio. And so now I'm going to copy this entire div with the classes that we've added. And I'll scroll down to find our other image. And here, I will replace the previous implementation we had with our new implementation. And I can also remove the absolute inset zero and width and height full classes on the image. So let's save that. And we're going to verify that it all works correctly. So as I make the viewport bigger, when we hit the small breakpoint, we should jump into square images for the aspect ratio one by one. Perfect. And then at the large breakpoint, we should go into this three by four, so portrait vertical images. Beautiful. Works really nicely. So as you can see, the aspect ratio plugin makes setting aspect ratio for images really intuitive and easy. The thing to remember here is you need to apply these aspect ratio classes on the parent of the element for which you want an aspect ratio. So the aspect ratio plugin also works really well with video content. So now we're going to look at an example of a video. So let's take this super simple UI where we have a centered panel and we're going to display a video inside of it. Here's the markup for it. And in here, we're going to paste the video embed iframe from YouTube. So as you see, it's currently not using the whole width of the container. And this is because the iframe itself has a set width and height attributes. So if I remove this, now it's probably going to be even worse because we have reset the iframe size to the default 300 by 150 pixels. Once again, we're going to use our aspect ratio plugin here. So the aspect ratio classes need to be applied on the parent. So I'll add a div here and put the iframe inside of it. And up here, I'll go class. And let's go here with 16 by 9. So aspect width, 16. And aspect height, 9. And now if we look at our video one more time, you can see that the aspect ratio is perfectly respected. And when I resize the browser, it always stays to the same aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Now, let me show you a really cool use case for this. So I'll bring another video from YouTube as well. So with this video, when I play, you will see that it's been recorded in vertical format. Even if the video itself in YouTube is in landscape mode, the actual footage inside the video is in vertical format. So maybe we can do something nice with the aspect ratio plugin for an embedded video that has a vertical format like this. So first thing, let me make the max width container much smaller so we don't have a huge video. So I'll go max width small. And it looks a bit too small like this, but now we're going to apply an aspect ratio of 9 by 16 instead of 16 by 9. So here I'll simply invert the 16 with the 9, so width 9 and height 16. And now we have a nice vertical video format embed. And if I change the width of the screen, the aspect ratio is always perfectly 9 by 16. And look at this little one-year-old ripping. And that's it for this mini tour of the aspect ratio plugin for Tailwind CSS. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.